What's he doing? I'm standing there. I've got lots of time left. I go to crack my poached egg. Ah, uh, no, don't you? I crack my yolk. I don't have eggs left at this point. Look at Kevin's poached egg. He's just lifted it out, and he, he uh, is that's not enough. happy. I think he broke his yolk. Oh, my god. Kevin's poach is a mess. All three of you are here for one reason and one reason only, and that's to win back this. The coveted white apron. The home cook who wins this apron will instantly earn a spot in the top eight and a second shot at the life-changing MasterChef Canada title. I want the white apron. I deserve the white apron. I'm gonna fight for the white apron. The second chances do not come around very often. I need this white apron for my redemption. Are you ready to cook your hearts out? The star of this challenge is... the egg. It's so easy to mess up an egg. It seems like an easy protein, but it's not. One of the trademarks of a great cook is the ability to fully understand and master this essential ingredient. And for me, that skill is highlighted in a perfectly shaped, fluffy, and delicious three egg omelet will prove to me that you have the skills to get back in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. I respect Claudio's opinion, but I think there's a much more technically challenging dish. A perfectly poached egg. Poached egg, my egg of choice. Knowing the right moment to stop the cook on a poached egg, it's the ultimate test of skill and instinct. Perfect. I want to see a beautiful, soft-boiled egg. It's the hardest technique to pull off because you can't see inside the shell. And when you crack into it, the gorgeous yolk simply oozes out. You will need exactly five eggs to complete this challenge. And that's all the eggs you're gonna get. And just in case that's not enough pressure, you will have to make all three of these egg dishes in eight minutes. Oh my God! Oh. <laughs> Whoa. Please head to your stations. You'll find everything you need in front of you. This is insane. I have no idea who's gonna win this. I'm just happy to be up here. The home cook who does the best job with all three egg dishes will win back a spot in the MasterChef Canada kitchen. Cody and Kevin are two of the best cooks that were in the top 16. I'm cooking against the people I would never want to cook against. Your time starts now! As a cook, I've changed a lot. My hands are much more steady. At any point in time, someone can do something that's gonna just ruin their dish. I just have to put my nose down, put out these eggs. An omelet, a perfectly poached egg, and a beautiful soft boiled egg in eight minutes flat. First thing I'm doing is getting two pots of water on boil. This is a test of multitasking. You have to be looking at three different egg applications all at once. This is exciting. Remember, they only have five eggs. They cannot make any mistakes whatsoever. Michael, what's a perfect soft boil egg? Room temperature egg. Water that's brought up to a roaring boil, turned down, then with a spoon, just gently lower that egg into it, and then it's timing from there on in. I have a hard time keeping it simple, so cooking eggs, I'd rather cook what lays the eggs. The trick with making an omelet perfectly, get the fry pan on medium heat, with a little bit of whole butter and a little bit of olive oil. Kevin is a little bit of a slow poke on this. He doesn't have the same speed and agility that Andrew has. Omelets are always on the menu at Andrew's house. I make omelets weekly. And Cody, he keeps looking at the clock. He is super sensitive about his time management because that has let him down time and time again. One minute goes by like one second. You blink and half the challenge is gone. Five minutes! <sighs> Cody's working on his omelet. I get my omelet in the pan, and immediately I know the pan is too hot. I've got brown on my omelet. This could cost me my second chance. My omelet comes out and it looks good. I should have enough time to poach my egg. I don't see a problem doing a poached egg, because I do that a lot. 
cold shake, I think, is the most difficult to do. You gotta get that water not rapidly boiling, simmering. And then you gotta create that vortex. And then, of course, the critical splash of vinegar. When it's finished, the egg yolk has to be oozing and the egg white has to be firm. Three minutes! I'm standing there, I've got lots of time left. I go to crack my poached egg. Ah, no, don't you. What's he doing? I crack my yolk. I don't have eggs left at this point. Look at Kevin's poached egg. He's just lifted it out, and he, he uh, is that's not enough. happy. I think he broke his yolk. Oh, my God. Kevin's poach is a mess. Don't give up yet, Kevin. I'm hoping that things aren't going well for Andrew and Cody either. Just give me the apron now, because I got this. Oh, he's going to drop it. Andrew's going to drop it. Out of those three, my biggest threat is Andrew. Is Cody or Kevin going to step up so he's not here? Cody can't keep his hands still. I've never seen his hands shake so much. Cody! 30 seconds! They put the soft boiled egg into the cold water to stop the cooking instantly. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Three, Put it in. two, one, hands up! Good job, boys. Please bring your dishes up for tasting. I'm looking down at my three egg dishes. Definitely not happy with my poached egg. I'm just hoping that that omelet could be my redemption. You like pepper, don't you? Uh, yeah, I think I get that from my dad. So I'm looking for a moist, almost undercooked inside. The outside is set very nicely. It's nice and moist on the inside. Might be a little bit too moist. Okay. It's actually very good. Thank you. There's a lot of color happening here. Looks like you had your heat on the pan a little bit too high. What do you think? I knew that I had left it on the heat a little bit too long for the outside, but... Hmm. It's nice and moist. It's a good omelet. Thank you, Chef. Look at this. If this were a steak, it would be a perfect medium rare. Some people might say it's a little too runny, but this is what you want in a classic omelet with French technique. It's delicious. That takes a lot of skill. If Andrew comes back, I'm a bit scared because he's a good cook and he might actually take this. Hi, Cody. Chef Alvin. What do I expect to see when I cut into this? You should see the white set and firm, and the yolk should run freely. It should be smooth and velvety. Well, the yolk is perfect. Thank you, Chef. The white, I think you nailed it. Well done. Thank you. Kevin. Yes, yeah, Chef. How are we here? You have absolutely destroyed poached egg. Broke the yolk on it. That is an example of probably the worst looking poached egg. I'm afraid the yolk is firm all the way through, and the white, it's all over the place. Yeah. It's not your lucky day. Andrew, from the visual aspect, you did a very good job because the shape is beautiful. It's one of the most attractive poche I've seen before coming in. There's some runniness, but just not enough. Mm. Overall, the appearance, beautiful. Just slightly overcooked. You know, I'm looking down, trying to figure out whose eggs look the best. They all got one or two strong ones, but at this point, it's anyone's game. Kevin. Yeah, Chef. How are your soft-boiled eggs? I've never done one before. 
you're kidding me. No, sir. Let's find out. I want a beautifully cooked egg white, and then in the center, liquid gold. Please, please. Absolutely beautiful. <laughs> the consistency of it, well done. Thank you, chef. So one perfect egg, one okay egg, and one real bad one. Hey, there's still a chance, you never know. Andrew, there's a lot writing on this egg, isn't there? Is there ever. Looks good. There's a little bit of the egg yolk there from the inside edge, you see it there? And you have the same happening right here, you see? Yes. which indicates to me a few seconds too long, maybe. Thank you, Andrew. Cody, well, let's take a look, shall we? Gorgeous. That's like the morning sunrise right there. Maybe just a little hair under there on the egg white, but just maybe seconds. Well done, Cody. At this stage, it comes down to whether you're over or undercooked by 10 seconds. The line is that fine. Gentlemen. We need a few moments to discuss. That was a tough challenge. The timing, unbelievable, huh? That's like an egg. I think there was a few standout dishes. What do you guys think? I felt there was one perfect soft boiled egg. It's very close, you know. Whatever happens, guys, that was fun. Winning today is gonna come down to a matter of seconds. Okay, let's go. You all had to master three different egg dishes. The good news is you all excelled in at least one application. The best omelet of the bunch belonged to Andrew. Thank you. Cody. Yes, Chef. You had the best poached egg. Thank you, Chef. And Kevin, the best soft boiled egg was made by you. Thank you, Chef. Unfortunately, Kevin, you were unable to master the other two egg dishes. And for that, we have no choice but to wish you goodbye for a second time. Thank you very much for the second chance. Even though I didn't get the white apron today, Chef Michael Bonaccini calling me back, and that meant everything to me. That was awesome. Good luck. <laughs>